You wouldn't believe how difficult it was for me to set this stupid little camera up because I don't have a, a holder. Um, <laughs> a slice of carrot cake is holding this camera up. Anyway, um, I wanted to do a quick review. I never do these, but uh, the Cooking Goth has kind of inspired me to... If you're not familiar with Cooking Goth, uh, he is uh, a YouTuber that does food reviews, all sorts of different things. Uh, he recently did a Ninja Turtle, uh, it was like one of these kind of uh, retro foods, and it was pretty awesome. And I did see him do a Nitro Pepsi one, which is what I'm going to do today. Uh, Nitro Pepsi is supposed to, it's like a draft cola, it says. Draft cola, I'm not sure if this is, if you can see that. But anyway, um, it's supposed to be, he poured it in a cup and you could see the foam. Uh, I'm just going to drink it straight out of the can. Uh, there's a vanilla one as well, but I didn't get that one. Just not a fan of that that much. Uh, I actually bought a backup soda just in case this is gross. But anyway, just wanted to try it out. Oh, that was a lot of, oh shoot. It was a lot of fizz, and I didn't shake it up or anything. Um, yeah. That's very different. That's, like, creamy. Now I kind of... I can't remember the terminology of what... Um, cooking Goth, he said. Something similar to that. Um, maybe it was exact. Now that's... We're talking about the foam right now. It doesn't taste like normal foam in a with a soda that you can't really drink. Like, you can drink this foam. And then the actual... That's unfortunate. Now I remember his review. Now I remember his view, and I know why I got a backup soda. It's basically like flat soda. Cold, flat soda. That's a bummer. That is a bummer. No doubt about it. Well, it tastes like they made it flat on purpose. It doesn't taste like just a flat soda that it tastes like artificial, horrible Pepsi. I gotta say the fizz part of it was the best part. And like, like, like the foam on the top, that was the best part of this whole thing, and that was it. There was just a little bit of it. Uh, maybe if you poured it, you might get more of that. But uh, I think if you're going to try this, definitely put it in a glass. You can probably get more fizz. I think you just got to drop it straight up, up down. Like just pour it down. Just get a bunch of fizz, and I think that's probably the best way. Oh, it literally says, "Chill can, pour hard, admire, and enjoy." And uh, I chilled the can. I did not pour hard. I admired and enjoyed. So it's 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 more just like a novelty thing. But yeah, anyway, um, definitely do the whole pour hard part because that's where you're gonna get like the cool foam. That was the, the foam was okay. The foam was okay. The foam didn't taste like a flat soda. It just tasted like an interesting creamy version of of Pepsi. But otherwise, the soda beyond that, not at all. Not a fan. Anyway, I assume the vanilla one's probably similar. Uh, yeah, appreciate you watching.